This is a patient who came in with right upper quadrant pain, got an ultrasound that was uh, non-conclusive, didn't really give a cause for the pain, so an MRI was uh, performed. And we can see on the MRI in this T2-weighted image in the uh, axial plane without fat sat, the patient's actually status post-cholecystectomy. And if you dig in the chart, patients had the gallbladder out for about a year. There's no biliary ductal dilatation or any other cause uh, related to the biliary tree that we could find for the patient's symptoms. However, if you look in the right upper quadrant, there's certainly a little bit of stranding going around uh, right over here, just beneath um, a portion of the liver, uh, adjacent to the portion of the duodenum, though it looks like the duodenum is doing okay. We can look at these findings on our T2 fat sat image that definitely show that there is some inflammatory change right around there. You can see that some of it extends just deep to the anterior abdominal wall, so certainly the patient is symptomatic from this. But again, the duodenum adjacent to it looks pretty okay, uh, as is the liver. If we look at some other sequences, including in and out of phase sequences, and we go right to that area of inflammation, we notice that the findings are really centered around some of the fat in that location. On the out of phase image, you can see some of that Indian artifact at the interface of some fat and edema and water in that location. And so overall, these findings are actually a really good look for uh, an mental infarct. Um, and, uh, you know, these things can cause abdominal pain, certainly in this patient situation causing uh, quite a bit of uh, discomfort. And we can see why certainly the pain from that mental infarct itself, but also some of that, ex all that inflammatory findings extending to the anterior abdominal wall. Lucky uh, for them, this is uh, sort of a self-limited condition. We'll get better with some NSAIDs and some uh, anti-inflammatory medications. Uh, and this patient certainly did improve uh, upon initiation of that treatment.